Is the question why are climate activists supporting <coughs> Jack Hansen and Jane? Why are climate activists supporting Jane Stromberg? Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, Jane, why are climate activists supporting you? Well, I have a long history of being involved with the divestment movement at UVM specifically. Um, I have been leading the Renewable Energy Network, like I said before, but also doing a lot of coalition building at the university and with um, organizations throughout the state. And um, I have absolutely been involved with environmental justice, environmental health, climate justice, uh, water quality research, all of these things that are all encompassing in our community. Um, I've been bringing forth um, and organizing like climate marches and been involved with Sunrise even before Sunrise had like a Burlington hub. Um, so I think that just my openness and, um, you know, kind of fierce commitment to this specific issue um, that is literally affecting each and every one of us um, is something that resonates with students at UVM and, and Champlain College and all young people, young professionals, young families, long-term residents. This is something that it, it's a global issue. And I'm proud to put that right forthright on my platform and talk about it on a daily basis because mm -hmm. this is something that is, you know, it, it kind of has tendrils in every single category of our life. Mm -hmm. And if we're not properly addressing it, then we're doing ourselves a great disservice and our, the future you know, of, our, of our planet a great disservice. Okay, thank you. And what's your position on climate change <laughs> activism? Um, climate change activists, you know, I don't think they, you know, I don't believe that every single one of them supports either candidate here. Um, but, you know, also those who are climate activists who are also our friends, I would imagine will support your friends. Um, look, my record on climate action has, is clear. And my record, frankly, speaks for itself. Um, Burlington uh, has been for a long time, and I think even more so in these recent years, has become one of, be become one of the most, if not is the most, bold uh, community on taking action, whether it be through our zoning laws in our form-based code that now requires, and I was a big supporter of this, uh, large buildings over 50,000 square feet in our downtown need to be LEED Gold certified and handle more than 100% of the, the water, the stormwater that falls on it. Uh, the, the, the major investment that I was supportive of and, and passed by the, also was passed by the voters for lake health and water, water wastewater infrastructure investment. Um, you know, and also this issue of divestment, which quite frankly is not a, a city council issue, but something that I've appreciated, Jane, you stepping up and leading on, and I think I've been right there leading on as well. Uh, myself, as long, uh, along with student body president Jillian Skinnell and, and Sophie Smith at UVM wrote an op-ed uh, really laying out the case for how to get the Board of Trustees to move through the process of divestment. Um, I've been working with the, the organized group as well. I know you have been, uh, uh, Jane, as well. But there are ways to move through the University of Vermont Board of Trustees process as a former trustee at UVM, I know this, um, to move towards divestment in a, in a realistic way. Um, and, I'm, and I'm hopeful that that's, that will work. Uh, for more information on, on the work that I've done for on climate action, you can go to my website, and I encourage you all to look at my proposal to fund sustainable and alternative transportation systems throughout our, our community, what I'm calling plus one for climate action. I have to